Is your well water giving you grief? Are you unhappy with the safety, taste, smell, discoloration, or staining caused by your well water and want to know what you need to do to fix it? You've likely heard of water softeners, ultraviolet disinfection systems, iron filters, and even ROs. But what do these things do? Where do they go? And what order are they installed in? And do you really need all of these things? Relax, I'm going to explain what you need to get the best water filtration system for your family starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now this video is perfect for the home, cottage or cabin owner that has concerns about their water but has no idea what a complete well water filtration system actually consists of. By the end of this video you'll understand what a complete well water filtration system is, what each component's called, where it goes and what it does. And I'll detail next steps on upgrading your existing water filtration system and getting your water fixed. Follow along as I take you through our well water infographic and explain each phase of what you need, what it does, and whether you do or don't need it for your family. Basically what we do with well water filtration is first we remove the dirt from the water, then we remove anything that would cause staining or scale or color in the water, then we disinfect your water to make sure that's safe for your family. But let's check it out step by step. So basically what happens is we start at the well, water goes from the well through the pressure tank, we're removing the dirt through the sediment filters here, and then we're going into um, any iron filters that we may need, water softener, tannin filter, again, depending on your water quality, ultraviolet disinfection system, and then it goes to the whole household water, or it can also go to a reverse osmosis system to give you super pure, great tasting drinking water for your family. Also, just so you know, in the description down below, I've got links to YouTube videos that give you more information and detail about each one of these different phases of well water filtration. All right, let's start at the beginning with the pressure tank. That's this guy right here. The pressure tank is a bladder tank, which means it has a bladder inside and what happens is the pump comes on and it pumps up the, the water side of the pressure tank and the other side of the pressure tank is air. So the, um, as the water is being pumped into the tank, the air puts pressure against that water inside through the bladder, puts pressure onto that water so that whenever you open a faucet in the house, and you would get a glass of water or something like that, the water comes from the, the pressure tank. It doesn't come from the pump. Now, the reason you need that pressure tank is be because if, if you didn't have it, every time you took just a small bit of water, the pump would have to come on, go off, come on, go off, and that would quickly burn out that pump. So the next step is sediment filtration, which basically means we're removing that dirt from the water. Now, there's a few different ways that we can do that. This is a spin down filter. Water enters through this side and then goes out through this side and it gets filtered through this element inside here. So the dirt collects on that element. Now what happens is after a period of time, after the water becomes, after the filter becomes quite dirty and maybe slowing down your flow because it's clogged, that filter needs to be clean. And that's where the spin down name comes from. Basically what happens is there's a valve that goes on the bottom here. You open up that valve, centrifugal force spins water inside here and flushes the debris from this filter and flushes it out the bottom. Now this is a very coarse filter. It definitely doesn't do fine filtration, but if you have a lot of dirt in your water, it's a great first filter. So another way of removing sediment from your water is with a cartridge type filter. So you would use a sediment filter, something like this. This is a polypropylene type filter, and you would put it inside a filter housing like this. So this, you can use different grades of uh, sediment filters for this, um, different microns. So some are finer, some are coarser. So depending what you want to accomplish, you can change the type of filter you put inside here. And sometimes you'll have two or three of these filter housings and you'll have different kind of filters in there. So you might have a coarser filter and then a finer filter working along the water flow. So with both of those types of sediment filters, you have to do the work. In other words, you have to replace the filter element in the cartridge type filter when it gets dirty and clogged. And the same with the uh, spin down filter. You have to open up the valve at the bottom to flush that out periodically. So an automatic solution is to go with an automatic backwashing filter, 
like this Hume backwashing filter. So the beauty of these systems is the dirt gets accumulated inside and then every four or five days they automatically backwash it and it flushes all that dirt to the drain. Which makes life easier for you because there's no filters to change, there's no chemicals involved, it just does it all automatically. Now if you have iron and or sulfur in your water, you're going to need one of our Hume chemical free iron and sulfur. We have FOBs, FOCs, and FOKs, and again, I've got a link in the video down below that uh, will help you sort out which one you need for your family. So how these systems work is they oxidize the iron and the sulfur out of the water as it passes down through the tank, and then it backwashes it to the drain automatically. Again, no chemicals to add, no filters to change, it just does it all on its own. Now if your water's hard, next up is one of our Hume fully metered water Water softeners do more than just soften your water. They also remove iron and manganese from your water. So if you have iron in your water, less than one part per million, and no sulfur in your water, you don't need an iron and sulfur filter. You can just go with a water softener. Same with manganese. If you have manganese in your water, a water softener will get rid of it for your family. Now you may have heard that water softeners use salt to make brine uh, to regenerate or to clean out the water softener. So ongoing maintenance for a water softener involves adding bags of water softener salt to that water softener. How many bags are you going to go through? Well, it really depends on a lot of different uh, parameters, but again, I've got a great YouTube video down below that explain the whole thing to you. So one of the great things about our Hume water softeners is that they are fully metered. So what that means is the more water you use, the more salt they'll use, but the less water you use, the less salt they'll use. The amount of salt you use is totally based on your family's water usage. So if your water is brown or has a weak tea color, it's important to have your water tested to find out if that's coming from either tannins or iron. So as I mentioned earlier, if you have an iron filter, it's going to remove the iron and it, if the color is being caused by that iron, um, all the color will be gone. But if the color is being caused by tannins, you need a tannin filter. This is a tannin filter right here. Now I know what you're thinking. It looks exactly like a water softener. And that's because externally they are. They are exactly like a water softener. The only difference between a tannin filter and a water softener is what's inside, the media that's inside. It's a special media that looks after uh, tannins. And another thing you'll notice in the usage of a tannin filter is generally they use a lot more salt than a water softener does. And by the way, what are tannins anyway? Well, tannins are a coloration in a liquid, this, in this case water, that's being caused by an organic. So what happens is when organics break down, they tint the water. So you may be more familiar with tannins in terms of tea or wine. So we've removed the dirt, we've gotten rid of everything that's going to cause any staining or any smell or any discoloration or buildup in your home cottage or cabin. The next step is to make the water safe for your family, bacteria free. For that we use an ultraviolet disinfection system, Safe Water 10. And basically how it works is water flows in through this side and it goes through a sediment filter. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, wait a second. We already talked about removing the sediment. This is a very fine sediment filter. So you need to make sure that, um, that you've done the heavy lifting already when it comes to removing the sediment and the water flows through. Sediment filter first, carbon filter second. So the carbon filter removes chemicals from your water, herbicides, pesticides, that kind of thing. And then the last stage is the ultraviolet light. Water would flow over that ultraviolet light. Again, we've, got the, we've gotten rid of the color. We've gotten rid of anything that's gonna cause staining inside that ultraviolet light and will kill the bacteria and then goes on to your home cottage or cabin, the whole place. So we've taken care of all the utility water in your home cottage or cabin. It's potable, it's safe to drink, it's good to go. Are we done? Not necessarily. If you want great tasting drinking water, you would add a reverse osmosis drinking water system like this Hume Water Saver 75. So basically what this does, it takes water and it forces water through a membrane, a very, very dense filter, and the good low mineral content water goes through that membrane, gets stored in a tank, and then comes out a faucet at the kitchen sink, and is also connected up to your fridge if you have a fridge with a water dispenser and ice cube maker inside the high mineral content water goes to the drain. So if you've got high amounts of sodium in your water, and again, you need to have your water tested to find that out or not, if you have that or not, or if you just don't like the taste of the water, then a reverse osmosis drinking water system is a great way to go. Also, if you have anyone in the family that would be a little bit squeamish about uh, drinking well water, even after the ultraviolet disinfection system, the uh, reverse osmosis system also gives you a second barrier against bacteria.
site. And by the way, if you're wondering where you can purchase some of these items we're talking about here today, you can go to our websites, either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. So putting it all together, we have the water comes from our well, which pumps up the pressure tank, then it goes to the spin down filter, cartridge filter and an automatic backwashing filter. Now again, you wouldn't need all of these. It depends on your circumstances. If you've got a lot of dirt, then you're better off with the automatic backwashing filter. If you've just got a small amount of dirt, then you're better off with the uh, cartridge type um, sediment filter. And if you've got uh, a lot of dirt, but you don't mind opening up that valve periodically, the spin down filter and budget wise, it's a lot uh, friendlier on the budget, the spin down filter. And then we go to the iron and sulfur filter. Next up, we have the um, water softener. And again, depends on how soft your water is or how hard your water is, if you need that or not. Same with the tannin filter, no brown water, you won't need a tannin filter. Then it goes to the ultraviolet disinfection system, makes all the water in your whole home cottage or cabin bacteria free. And then as a step, second step for just your drinking water, you could put in a reverse osmosis drinking water system and connect it up to the fridge if you have a dis water dispenser in your fridge. So what do you need to fix the well water for your family? Well, we'd be happy to help you and make recommendation. Now we need some information to do that. So one of the key pieces of information we'd need is we need to know your water chemistry. So you can either have your water tested at a local lab and email us your water test results, or you can actually mail us a water sample. We don't charge for water testing and we can test the water for you to help in making that recommendation. Now we will need some other information too. And uh, what we do, we have a convenient form. And again, I've got a link in the description down below that uh, you can download that form, fill it out and uh, take a picture or scan it and email it back to us. And that'll give us the information we need to make the best recommendation for you and your family. Just mail your water sample to this address. Water Store, 1004 King Street, Midland, Ontario, Canada, L4R 0B8. Just go to the link down below, download the form, fill it out, take a picture of it with your smartphone or scan it and email it back to us. And that'll give us the information to make a, our best recommendation for you and your family. Click up here for your next video on well water filtration and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I read them all, I'd love to answer yours.